Welcome to EMC video tutorial series for EMC Replication Manager. I'm Marcel Brunner, Technology Consultant for EMC. In this video I will show you how to create an iSCSI LAN on Celero Virtual Storage Appliance. This iSCSI LAN will be presented to the Replication Manager server later on. First I need to create a network interface to be able to connect the Celero Data Mover to my LAN environment. Then, I create an iSCSI target that essentially acts as a network portal for iSCSI LANs and connect it to the network interface. The iSCSI qualified target name is optional on this screen and if left blank, it will be created automatically. Since iSCSI LANs basically reside on a file system, I'm going to create one dedicated to iSCSI LANs. It is recommended to select a storage pool with reasonable performance characteristics. Please contact an EMC IP storage specialist if you need assistance in making this choice. You are not allowed to enable file system auto extension nor thin provisioning. However, you can create thin provisioned iSCSI LANs. Now it's time to create my first iSCSI LAN. For this task to complete, I have the choice of either using the Celero Manager GUI, a wizard, or the command line. In order to create a thin provision iSCSI LAN, I use the command line. I size it to 4 GB. Since it is a thin provision LAN, it won't pre-allocate the blocks. This feature allows for better storage capacity utilization. The iSCSI service has not been started yet, therefore I enable this service. In order that the Replication Manager server has access to the iSCSI LAN and the initiator of my Windows Virtual Machine is able to connect to the iSCSI target and its LAN respectively, I need to configure LAN masking. With LAN masking I can control which host has access to a specific LAN. The name of the initiator I can copy from the Microsoft Initiator application of the corresponding host. I need to grant one or several LANs to a single initiator at any given time. That's it. I'm done. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye. We have to put in the initiator name of the replication manager server as well as the LAN number of our newly created LAN.